Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. So today we're gonna to be reacting with Gig Boy, Farouk, Angelus. Guys, we're gonna be reacting to Pro Prophet Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. Mind blowing, guys. Oh, I think I've checked this out before, but they need to check this out with me, guys. So guys, let's get straight into this. <laughs> I have read the Bible through many, many, many times. And others such as I have read it many more times, much more educated than I could ever be, understanding both Hebrew and Greek. Uh, Mohammed is not mentioned in the Old Testament. With this countless number of reading, the man doesn't see it. How can that be? I said, you see, what has happened is this. First, that Muhammad is mentioned by name in the original scriptures. The Old Testament, according to Christian authorities, was preserved in the Hebrew language. And the New Testament in Greek scriptures, Greek language. In the Old Testament, in the Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16, in the Hebrew language, it reads, Hikko mamittakim vi kullo muhammadim zehdudi vi zehrei bainat Jerusalem. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. The word muhammadim is muhammad im im i am im. Im is a plural of respect in Hebrew. You see the first verse of the Bible, book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The word God in Hebrew there is Elohim. In Hebrew, Ella stands for God. Elohim is a plural form to say with all respect and reverence. Plural of respect. In all Eastern languages, including Arabic and Hebrew. There are two types of plurals. Plural of respect as well as numbers. In the Quran also we find the very same thing. Like the verse Allah says, Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lahafizun. That it is for us to send down the revelation and it is for us to protect it. Who is this us? Ask any Muslim. Who is this us? Is Allah Jibreel and Muhammad, like Father, Son, and Holy Ghost? No. But is as who is us? When we are told in the Holy Quran, Qul huwa Allahu ahad, say He is Allah, the one and only. Here he's talking about as. No Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim. I said the Arab Christian has ever asked the Muslim, who is this as? Because he knows in his language, there are two types of plurals. Plural of numbers and plural of respect. This as is like in royal proclamations, you have plural of respect. We have decreed, says the queen. We. Who is this we? Not she and her husband and her, her son. No, no, no. It's standing for herself. Out of respect. Plural. So Elohim is a plural of respect. Im. El is God. Ella is God. Elohim is more than one of respect. Ask any Jew. This is his book. Ask him what is this Im. He said, look, in my language, this is the plural of respect. God is one, but out of respect we speak like that. Im. He says, Muhammad Im. Muhammad Im. Plural of respect. Thank 
Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. The word is there in the Hebrew language. In the original, what they call original, it's there. But they have translated that in English as altogether lovely. So this beloved of mine is altogether lovely. When you read altogether lovely, you can't associate with the word Muhammad. You read it a thousand times, altogether lovely, altogether lovely. Or let's say in another language, the praised one, the praised one. Muhammad means the praised one. But he said the praised one, the praised one. You can't think that he's talking about Muhammad. Though Muhammad means the praised one. You have no right to translate names of people. Anybody. Your name should be retained. Mr. Black is Mr. Black. Though he's white. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. So we said, look, you have lost the name Jesus Christ, according to the Holy Quran, says, Wa is qala Isa bin Maryam. says, Behold, Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, Inni Rasulullah ilaykum. So most certainly, I am the messenger of God sent to you all. Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayya min al-tawrati. Confirming the revelation which came before me. Wa mubashiran bi rasuli ya'ti min ba'd ismuhu Ahmad. And giving you glad tidings of a messenger to come after me, whose name shall be Ahmad, which is another name for Muhammad. Muhammad and Ahmad are synonymous terms for this mighty messenger of God. Ahmad, that is what the Quran tells us. But Christian says, look, it's not, it's not in my book. It's not here. There's no Ahmad and there's no Muhammad. So you are left with no alternative but to analyze what is there. You see, they have a verses in the Bible, in the Gospel of St. John, chapter 16, where it says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, Jesus says. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I go, I will send him. And when he is come, he will convict the world in respect of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because they believe not in me and on and on. He says, if I don't go, the Comforter will not come unto you. We say that Comforter is Muhammad. The same chapter he says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them. Nah, you haven't got that capacity. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. Spirit of truth. Who is the spirit of truth? Ask the Christian. Is the Holy Ghost. How be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself, but what things so shall he hear, that shall he speak. And he shall declare unto you the things that are to come. He shall glorify me. So who is the spirit of truth? They say the Holy Ghost. I said, all right. If this is the Holy Ghost, tell us now, what new things has he given you in the past 2,000 years? He said, Jesus said, I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. But before we expound this aspect, let me reread to you this verse with a little emphasis on the pronouns. He says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them. Now, nah. how be it? When he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak from himself. 
but what things shall he hear that shall he speak and he shall declare unto you the things that are to come he shall glorify me eight masculine pronouns i say it ill befits a ghost you agree man man a man a man eight times there is not another verse in the whole bible with eight masculine pronouns or eight feminine gender or eight neuter genders there isn't this is a unique verse for a unique personality muhammad Man, 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 not a ghost, not a spook. But we are told he's a spirit. Is Muhammad a spirit? I say yes. That's what your Bible says. You see, every time the word spirit is used in your Bible, I'm telling the Christian, it doesn't stand for the Holy Ghost. Because in the book of Revelation, the last book of the Bible, it, we are told that seven spirits of God went out into the world. I say, you believe in seven Holy Ghosts? He says, no, there's only one Holy Ghost. I said, look, it's seven spirits. It means it should be seven Holy Ghosts. No, spirit doesn't stand for Holy Ghost every time. Then in the same John, the same John, in the first epistle of John, he says, Beloved, believe not every spirit. But try the spirits whether they are of God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. False prophet is a false spirit. True prophet is a true spirit. Saint John is using spirit for a prophet. Don't believe every spirit. Don't believe in every prophet. Saint John, in the Gospel of Saint John, he says, he says, he that is born of spirit is spirit, and he that is born of the flesh is flesh. So do spirits beget? Do they cohabit? He says no. Then how can you be born of spirit? No. What it means there is that who is spiritually inclined is spiritual. Who is materialistically inclined is flesh. What brought you here tonight? Some kind of gift that you were expecting from D-Dad? You know, he's going to give you some sweet meat. What? Some chocolate? Is that what brought you here? If that was the case, and suppose I give it out to you, you are materialistically inclined. Material things brought you here. So you are a materialist. In the language of the Bible, you are fleshy, you are of the flesh. Materialist. If it was spiritual consideration, motivation that brought you here, then you are spiritual. The gospel language says he that is born means the thing that motivates you, that brings you up into being. If it is spirit, spiritually, then you are a spirit. And if you are fleshly, you are flesh. Material, you are flesh. سبب القوي إلى المقام الأرفعي وأسمتي وعروتي فاستمسك يا نفس بالمجد العظيم الأمنع صلى <laughs> guys, we are done with this video, guys. I actually brought my Muslim friend, guys, because we need him, like, we need him to, like, answer a lot of questions, like, a lot of questions. But I feel the comforter as the Holy Spirit. Because God, Jesus is going to go and he's going to send down the comforter. And I feel, I personally feel, based on my religion, I feel the comforter as the Holy Spirit. Well, what do you guys think about this? So, I'm going to go first, being the Muslim in this video. So, first off, I'm going to start by saying that Christianity and Islam are not all that different. But then, I feel the representation of what they worship is quite different. I've been with a lot of Christians and I believe, or what I see from their behavior so far is that they believe in, they have this belief that they have God, the Holy Ghost, and then um, the, God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But then when it comes to Islam, we believe in God, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then Prophet Muhammad being his prophet, which is the key word there. But then they have this conflicting message that Jesus is God, but then I'm not going to delve into that right now. So all I'm just going to say is that 
be either being a Christian or whether you're a Muslim, we all serve God and we're all his servants. So that's it from my own point of view. So. But what do you feel about um, Prophet Muhammad name written in the Bible? Because I feel it's just... I don't feel the passage you're actually referring to him. Okay. Yeah, me too. Okay, so... I don't know much about the Bible. I don't read a lot about the Bible. But we believe that we are all given the same message by God. And then, Prophet Muhammad's name, Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, his name being written in the Bible is clearly an indication that he is also a prophet sent by God. And I believe that he's the prof- he is a prophet sent by God. And his name being written, although it's in a different language, Hebrew, for what we saw so far, his name written in Hebrew is a clear indication that it was name was, it was, his name was also mentioned. And if you check the Holy Quran as well, Prophet Isa, who you guys named Jesus, his name is also written in the Quran. Well, I feel when Jesus' name was written in the Quran, like yes. he had a reference to Jesus. Of course. But this don't have a reference to Muhammad. It, it isn't saying anything about a prophet. Yeah, that's, that's but what then, I was it, But then about. it is saying that... Um, God is going to send someone no, after Israel. that particular passage. Okay. I feel it... I, I can't remember the translation, but maybe I feel... Okay, fine. It doesn't say much about the whole... The whole um, Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa his coming and all. It doesn't say much about it, but then his... A reference was made. It was just a name. It was a name, like, right. But wait. then the name is saying that he is going to come. No, that's 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 the point I'm picking out of it. Fine, his name was not mentioned in the whole context and all and everything. But then you fail to understand that there is the Bible, and then there is the Quran. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So now these are two different holy books, which supposedly pass on the same message, but now the context of these messages might be different. With the Quran giving a more vivid explanation of each of the prophets sent by God and what they are supposed to do. If you check the Quran, Isa's name was mentioned, Jesus, and his whole, um, what he was sent to do by God, everything was indicated. So now, I don't know much about the Bible. I don't even know who wrote the Bible. You understand? But my point is that a reference was made, and the reference being made is a clear indication that someone will be sent by God after Jesus. So that's all I have to say. Oh, wait. All right. I still have another question. Okay. I'm still sticking on this. It okay. was just, let's say my name, my, my real name is Ono. So let's say the Bible said, Ono your father and your mother. Mm-hmm. Okay. You can't say because my name is there, Ono means right. my name is written in the Bible. It, I feel you can, it can also be translated as respect your father and your mother. Yes. You understand? Mm-hmm. Okay, you, and I feel yeah, I when they translated it, that's what happened. I feel if, it was uh, they were actually writing it based on like maybe they were writing it about okay, Muhammad. Fine. The meaning I, I, okay, and, fine. And, I understand your points. Okay, you can go. And the thing is this language language has um this kind different different meanings. Yes. For let's say um um an uh, an American language right. and and this French language, okay. they have some kind similar way that so a way that is pronounce the same but yeah, has different, different meanings, meanings you see oh, so okay. maybe the in according to the video maybe the the man thought the nah, woman nah, what i saw in that video was not him thinking he this is someone who yes. clearly made his research you can't nah, come out and, publicly and and, say and from the talks. research the okay. research is what i just said okay. that language you can have the same meaning uh, the same pronunciation of the word okay. but different meaning but he do, that that language wasn't translated by one person. I have a oh. question. Okay. Nah. okay. So my first question is, he said the Bible was written in Greek. That's the original translation of the Bible, right? Yeah. He said it. You should know what all, what the Holy Book was written in. He said yeah. it. He said the Bible, the Greek is the original translation of the Bible. Okay. Yes. So does the Hebrew say the same about Muhammad in the Bible? The Songs of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Mm-hmm. That the Hebrew also mentions the name of Muhammad in the Bible. Okay, so That's right now you're asking me a question in relation to the Bible. I do not read the Bible. No, 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 no. I'm not actually asking you. Okay. 
And yes, yeah, that's my question. So if maybe someone can ask some in the comment section or something. Oh, okay. And so, my second question is, all right. we all know that in the early days in Jerusalem, yeah. when they are counting people, okay. they don't actually add the women. Okay. Yes. And from what I was taught, if the Bible says man, it means both man and woman. Yeah, yeah. In Genesis, women. I think he said, man should fill the whole earth with like humans or something. Yeah. Man, as in male, cannot do that, that task. Yeah, it yeah, will pass yeah. man and a woman. Yeah. But the Bible says man. But it, it, it means both uh, man and woman, which means Adam and Eve. So mm-hmm. how is that in relation to Muhammad they mentioned? In so good. Solomon? In this, uh, he was like, he, he, he said he, eight times. Eight times, mm-hmm. yes. So, if, when, so when Bible says man, it refers to man and woman. Yeah. And I think man is he. That is a, another pronoun for mm-hmm. man. Okay. So, man is a he. So, if he used he instead of man, I think it doesn't necessarily refer to um, Muhammad. Yeah. That's what I think. Maybe. And even according to the contents, the, the contents, nothing really showed that it's the Muhammad. Is yeah, like it's it was Muhammad. Okay. Yeah. Like I said earlier, the Bible doesn't give a comprehensive version of what happened after the name Muhammad was mentioned. And I personally, I do not read the Bible and I don't know what it entirely says. So why don't you just leave that to the people in the comment section and yes. hopefully they shed more light on this. So guys, we need your, we need your answer. Like we need answers to the question because the, the text wasn't actually referring to Mohammed completely. It was just like his no, name. Listen, it's a research and he made his facts. Mm-hmm. And I think it might be true. It's my yeah. Because I believe no, it's, it's true. It's listen, true. It's like, listen, true. Like the name is there. I think, but I think you said it. It's the correct translation, right? I think you, exactly. you, you can yeah. speak the language, right? It's the correct translation. Okay. The Mohammed right. is there. Yeah, the it's, name is there, but yes. And the, I and I know Greek and Hebrew is the original translation of the Bible. Yes. Of so but if, if so, I even have a question. So if the Greek says Mohammed, so why did the English change it? Eh, hey, that's what I was about to that's ask. Why why did they change so it? If the, it's really Mohammed's name the mentioned. English, why did they because when you read okay. the test, okay. right. I don't feel the name Muhammad will will go in there. Will go in. Will even fit. Yeah, yeah, because it doesn't fit. It, 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 I feel when you read this text, it's not talking about Muhammad. Okay. I feel it's, it's, it says Muhammad, meaning like the meaning of Muhammad, like maybe a synonym of Muhammad. That's why they use a synonym of Muhammad there. When did we translate to the English? I do not believe so, but then we can continue. <laughs> <laughs> but it does, like, this is my opinion. The, uh, this is what I'm seeing here. Of yeah, course. Bro. So, hopefully, someone in the comment section can share. Please, guys, yes. we need your help. Please, guys. Guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time, guys. Peace.